Hello, Iowa! You know, I know about this time of year. People come, they try to make some attenuated connection to Iowa. So I'm not going to tell you that my great-great-grandparents settled in Henry County in 1850. I'm not going to talk about the fact that my mother was born in Ottumwa, because that's not why we gather. We gather for the sake of our nation, for the sake of our nation standing in the world, and for the sake of America that we're going to pass on that next generation. We gather to make sure that Donald Trump is a one-term president. But you know what? It's more than that. It's about soundly rejecting the behavior that he's normalizing. The lies and the misstatements, the dividing us by race, by gender, by geography, the Twitter tirades. We expect more out of preschoolers than we do the President of the United States. And it's even more than that. It's about soundly rejecting the crony capitalism. When the person that actually cleans up tonight paid more than Amazon, paid more than Chevron in taxes, we can do a heck of a lot better. When a generation of workers have been replaced by independent contractors at the same time that union membership is half of what it was in the 1980s, when environmental regulations are being gutted by the polluters because that's what they ask for. This election is also about fighting back against Citizens United, making the federal government finally work for us, not the Koch brothers. That's been the fight of my career and it's a challenge of our time. Look, there is a whole lot that we got to do. But you know what? First, we got to beat Donald Trump. And we got to be clear-eyed. If we can't win back places we lost, if we can't give people a reason to vote for us, not just against him, if we can't change our strategy, gee, Donald Trump could win again. 2016, I was the only Democrat in the country to get re-elected a statewide re-elected where Donald Trump won. He took Montana by 20. I won by four. 25 to 30 percent of my voters voted for Donald Trump. The path to victory isn't just through the coasts and through the urban areas. The path to victory is through Iowa, Michigan, Wisconsin, all across this country. We need to be able to be competitive both in the big areas and places just like here. A third of your counties went Obama, Obama, Trump. We got to be talking about how do we get those voters back? Because this isn't just about the White House. This is actually about your state house as well. Look, I'm a pro-choice, pro-union, populist Democrat that won three elections in a red state, not by compromising our values, but by getting stuff done. That's how we win back the places we lost. Showing up, listening, talking about the challenges of everyday Americans. My legislature, guess what? It's more Republican than yours. Yet, we've been able to expand health care, expand mental health care, control costs. We've been able to make record investments in education. We've been able to kick dark money out of our elections. We've been able to do that and more. That's how we do win back the places we lost, getting stuff down. <laughs> Only been in this race for about 10 weeks, eighth trip to Iowa. <laughs> and the stories I take all across this country are the stories I hear from you all for that teacher that has to work a second job just to afford her insulin, for that farmer in Rippey who told me that every time Trump tweets, they lose hundreds of thousands of dollars, for that retiree in Ottumwa that said to me, listen to those debates, our voice is missing. Folks can't wait for a revolution. Their challenges are in the here and now. We can beat Donald Trump. But we need to be able to give folks a reason to believe the economy in Washington, D.C. will work for them. We can take those steps. We don't do it with just plans that are written for press releases. They're promising everybody free everything. What people want is a fair shot. They want to believe that things can get better. We can tackle climate without leaving communities behind. We can actually invest in education without giving it all away. We can make people finally believe that this works for them. The core of the word progressive is making progress. 
I get Iowa nice, you're somewhere on my list. I'd ask you to join Attorney General Tom Miller and so many others over this next 177 days because you're the ones that actually make these decisions. Please join me. Please go to stevebullock.com. Look forward to seeing you along the trail. Thanks so much. <laughs>